Hello and welcome to Breakfast for Pancakes. I'm your host, PK Sullivan. Today, I'm going to show you how to make yucca con mojo. Yucca, or cassava as it's known, is a starchy tuber. It originated in South America and has spread throughout the world as a staple food. This is a Caribbean dish. It is a blend of local ingredients, the yucca, and the culinary influence of European colonists. Mojo is a sauce that started in the Canary Islands and again has spread throughout the world. In the Caribbean, it is citrus juice and garlic. A couple of things to know about yucca before we get started. First, it is toxic if eaten raw. You need to cook it. I'm not going to get into the science of it, but there are toxins in there that when ingested will turn into cyanide and can actually poison you. Second, yucca has a very tough outer skin. It needs to be peeled because that skin is not edible. One way to get around that is you can just buy frozen peeled yucca at the grocery store. The frozen stuff works just fine in most recipes, including the one today. Ingredients. 700 grams of yucca, peeled and chopped. 200 grams of red onion. 60 mils of orange juice. Orange zest. 60 mils of lime juice. Cilantro. Six cloves of garlic. 60 mils of olive oil. Two and a half mils dried oregano. One and a quarter mils ground cumin. Kosher salt. Black pepper. Use a paring knife to slice through the outer skin of the yucca. Run a shallow slice from the very tip of the yucca to the very bottom. Trim off both ends and then use the paring knife to pull up the skin at one of the ends. Once it starts to pull away, use your fingers to separate the skin as much as you can. There are two layers of peel, the brown outer bark and the soft inner bark. Both need to be removed. The yucca inside should be entirely white with no dark spots. Dark spots aren't edible. Use your paring knife to shave away any bits of soft inner bark that remain. To chop your yucca, get a chef's knife. One with a beefy spine is preferable, as it will wedge the yucca apart without having to carve all the way through it. I found that since the yucca rolls easily, the safest way to chop it into discs is to gently press down as I push the knife forward, rolling the yucca. My other hand guides the yucca to keep things steady. This keeps my fingers away from the blade and requires only a little bit of pressure on the knife. These are both good safety measures. Once you have sliced the yucca into one inch discs, chop them into quarters. Measure out 700 grams and add them to a boiling pot of salted water. Let the yucca boil until it's tender, about 30 minutes. While the yucca boils, begin working on your mojo. Combine your onions, garlic, orange juice, lime juice, and cilantro in a bowl. Toss to combine. The acid in the juice, in particular the lime juice, will start to temper the sharpness of the onions and garlic. The earlier you do this, the more of a mellowing effect the juice will have. This is the only part of the recipe that will cook the garlic and onion, so keep that in mind as you try this recipe, judging for yourself how mellow or sharp you want those to be in your final dish. Set up a workstation with your oil, oregano, and cumin. Have a skillet ready to go on the stovetop. Once the yucca is done, you'll be working quickly. As the yucca approaches 30 minutes of boiling, go ahead and stick it with a fork, cake tester, or instant re thermometer to test for its tenderness. You want it to slide in easily and fall out. If the yucca is tender, set your skillet to preheat over medium heat while you drain the yucca and transfer it to a serving bowl. Add the onion, garlic, and juice mixture to the yucca and cover it with a dish towel to trap the heat in. You want this to stay warm while you toast the spices. Speaking of, your pan is probably preheated, so add the olive oil and give it a few seconds to come up to temperature. Once hot, add the oregano and cumin and stir frequently until the cumin is fragrant. This goes quick, maybe 45 seconds. Pour the hot oil over the yucca, onions, and garlic. There will be some spattering as the juice and oil collide. Add a pinch of kosher salt, a few healthy grinds of black pepper, garnish with more cilantro leaves, and the zest of the orange. This is a beautiful dish. The colors really pop. Aroma really fills the kitchen. Really wonderful to look at and smell in anticipation. The garlic really gives it a nice kick. The acidity from the limes and orange act as a counterpoint to these very sharp garlic. It's a really nicely bright, flavorful dish. The olive oil is really there just to help add a little bit of body. I hope you make this dish. It's wonderful and delicious. I like to make it when I do chicken adobo out on the grill. It's a nice complement to the very sour vinegar sauce from the chicken adobo. This is still a little sour, but it's a brighter, more citrusy sour.
If you like what I do here and would care to support, for as little as $3 a month, you can join and support me over on Patreon. The first patron voting poll has gone live. It will remain up through November 15th. It's a chance for my patrons to decide which of four video topics I will shoot in December. There are some great video ideas in there. Would love for you to hop in, join the Patreon, and tell me what you think. This week's shout out goes to my friend Enrique. Seeing him talk about Cuban food is what inspired me to start trying to cook Cuban food and other Caribbean food here at home. And I have to say, I have not once looked back. It's been a delicious trip. So thank you very much, and I will see you all next time.